minutes, it's uh, it's about points difference. And that's why you see uh, teams that may have uh, lost the game still press on right to the final whistle. There will be somebody, some teams disappointed by this time tomorrow evening and find themselves in the lesser competitions. Flag of Tunisia, flying proud. Tunisia reached the plate quarter-final here last year, they lost to Argentina by 22 points to 19. And the US of A got the plate semi-final where they lost to Wales by 22 points to 19, the same score line. Pro Ligote from South Africa is the referee for this uh, final match. No surprises uh, to date, Willie Losey, how do you see this one going? Well, I think it's going to go with the form book and the United States should get victory. In your intro there, you mentioned uh, the experienced players that they do have. It has to be said that the United States of America are one of the most improved uh, sides on the circuit. In recent times, they've defeated uh, Samoa, Argentina, France and Kenya along the way. And they're in possession. One of the white shirts. And they get the penalty. Taken by Dallin Stanford, or left rather by Dallin Stanford there. Momentarily, just to check uh, what the call might be. From the Occidental College, California, the Oxy Tigers, Dallin Stanford. It's Al Caravelli, the USA coach who uh, incidentally represented Argentina in the Hong Kong Sands way back in 1981. The squad, he says, is fit, fast, powerful and very excited with ball in hand. Let's see what he's right. There's an opportunity for them. Stanford now to two uh, midfield there. Change of direction. Sees Todd Cleaver brought in on the angle. Now then there's space out wide for Darlin Stanford. to uh, Matani Bukatha and uh, Fijian descent lost forward it's all a bit untidy at the moment well from both sides lack of appreciation for position and you can see there you can't play the ball when you are on the ground hence the reason the United States have been given this penalty it's a game to be played on your feet and even more so these days when the referees apply the rules to the letter of the law. Well, I just can't believe how many players right throughout the whole day have found it difficult with the footing. The cleated boots look good, but they're not that effective on the longer grass here in the stadium. So fashion might have to give way to practicality on the second day of competition. But you're right, Willie, it's, it's, it's very slippery down on the surface there. And the grass, of course, is in pristine condition. Apparently, last Saturday they had a, a huge downpour here at Hong Kong, and they had to call a game off so that the uh, uh, the surface could be protected uh, in advance of the uh, the competition here this weekend. But it's already cutting up on the first night, uh, just inside the uh, Tunisian 10-meter line. There it was a lovely sight uh, before the tournament got underway, seeing all the young boys and girls and the different clubs from Hong Kong out here running around, getting their moment in front of the big crowd. So, blood replacement early on for Tunisia. It's a nick inside of the, the head there. That means that uh, Sabri Demir comes on for the captain, Loftri Nino. Here's the replacement with the ball in hand, Sabri Demir. In France for the uh, Tremblant club near Bordeaux in the lower divisions. I thought he was putting the ball on the wrong side. <laughs> well, there's nothing preventing you from putting the ball in uh, that side. It's not uh, all that practical. It's against the head, isn't it? But there's nothing in the law that says you should put it on the left hand side. Tunisia then bring it away through. Uh, Mohamed Yusri Sugir, the man with the, the headgear. Ramon Mazga was the man penalised and looking to take full advantage is uh, Johnny Nagika. 
than five for the USA. Still waiting for our first score midway through the first half of the final match on day one here. Chris Wiles, the captain, can he inject some pace into the Declare! USA Declare! attack? The ball is available. Again, just an example of how slippery it is. The ball lost forward. Now, a chance here for Tunisia. Amin Glolo. He's got support on the wide outside, gets it from Heath and Shelley to uh, Glolo once again, the kick and the chase, excellent work by Tunisia. Can he regather? Now then, what will be the referee's decision here? Try? Yes! Sabri Gamir, the replacement. It looked a bit scrappy, it looked a bit untidy. But the try, I think, has been awarded. Although the touch judge, I think, wants to come in from the far side, Billy. No, I think this could be about uh, the tackle being, or the player being taken out. Maybe a penalty try, well the try has been given anyway, and maybe a player may be penalised here. So the referee will have a quick word, I think, with the uh, offending player. Turn back on. Early tackle, the last one. Just watch it. one of the up-and-coming referees, and... Uh, it's a great breeding ground for referees, isn't it? The, uh, the seven-side circuit. Is that a sub? Decisions have to be have to be made so quickly. We certainly not about the tackle there. Let's see, was he tackled before he got the ball? Yes. That may be the problem. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. So Tunisia lead the USA by seven points to nil. This time it's uh, Tunisia penalised for a push. Off the ball. It's not too many improvements, just cut it out. And uh, some consistency from Mr. Legote. A stern warning to both sides, and it was Amor Mazgar, the Tunisian number three, getting a piece of uh, Mr. Legote's mind on that occasion. Cleaver or clever? I'm not quite sure which. Nagika to Matamin Bokatha. Chance here. Clever is away, up to the Tunisian 10-metre line, takes uh, quite some stopping, does uh, Clever. You say in possession, Chris Wiles, the captain who played uh, for Northampton in England a few yeah, seasons yeah. ago, got some Heineken European Cup experience, he's now captain. Jason Pai, on the wide outside, can he get there, cuts back inside, that's the first try. Yes it is, for the US of A. He had to work hard for that one, did Jason Pine from the Ombak Club, the old Fishing Beach Athletic Club in San Diego. Stop playing the ball on the ground, please. Well, it's the perfect response from the Americans. A lot of good work, build up work from Todd Cleaver. They kept possession, they then moved it wide. And Jason Pine, lovely step. And then this is what I like about the kid he brings it in because points are so crucial throughout the pool play, even the conversion. Could be the difference between going through the cup or playing in the plate. Well, just looking back to the games this evening, I mean, Argentina scored 33, Wales scored 34, and both the teams they missed out on on a number of conversions. So, as you say, yeah, it's points difference at the pool stage uh, uh, of the sevens competition. Seven all of them between USA and Tunisia into the last minute of the first half. Magika to restart. Formerly with the Denver Barbos, now with the uh, San Francisco Golden Gate. He's placed that well. But, uh, Tunisia keeping their eye on the ball. Mohamed Yusri As the hooter blows, stay on, stay on. the last uh, piece of action of the first half. Not as uh, entertaining a, a half of as we have seen on the first day's competition. It's a second try. Stolen by the United States and Talon Stanford. Is he pleased with that? So, having uh, given a try away early on, USA in the ascendancy. Just his second try this season. Turns to Sam as uh, referee Lagutti blows the whistle to bring the first half to a close, and uh, USA having edged it. The lead by 14 points to seven at the break. Where, where we take 
And the great teams just have a knack of scoring right between the break. But have a look at Cleaver. He was so instrumental in that. Came through the kick and then the tackle, the crucial tackle, which dislodged the ball. I'm sure that'll please Al Caravelli somewhat. Plenty of support here for all the teams, all 24 teams. At Hong Kong, mostly expatriates, it has to be said. Johnny Nagika to get the second half underway. His team had ahead by a converted try by 14 points to seven. Tunisia will be looking to get back on level terms. Early doors in this second half. Palm down by Haitem Celi, wearing seven. That's uh, Amor Mazgar, 21-year-old. Spun out by Lotfi Nino. <laughs> oh, well done by the captain. But he's in all sorts of trouble here. Okay, on the ground, on his own 10-meter line. Tunisia, however, have the width of the field. If they can spread it wide, they could have a man over here. The Gika is the sweeper. For the US of A, just in case. Leave it, Red. Leave it, Red. Advantage, USA. Stanford, try scorer. Advantage over. Gillen Water out uh, to the captain. Chris Wiles cutting back uh, inside, making the breakthrough, looking for the breakthrough. Quick possession, that's what's required here. Stanford has got the big guy, Matani Bukatha, on the white outside. There's no way through. With three Tunisian players committed there, so it could be a four and three situation outside. Nagika straightening up. Oh, poor play. Gillen Water covers. Knocked forward again. It's a bit untidy. Well, the passes aren't crisp, and that's the uh, the bigger issue for the American coach there, Al Caravelli. The passes are going back as opposed to in front of the player, which means that uh, they haven't got any momentum running onto the ball. And also, I've got to say that the defence from Tunisia, who has been strong in the opening two minutes in the second half, these changes are get rung in from the American coach. Yeah, there's Matanin Bukatha who uh, departs, and on comes Matt Hawkins, punishing forward from, uh, again, from the Ombak yes, Club, Old Mission Beach Athletic yes, Club, San Diego, California. Quickly yeah. taken, Nagika. Chris Wiles, the captain, he's got pace. I think he's got the better of the Tunisian defender here. Yes, he has. Mohamed Yusri Sapir couldn't do anything about uh, Chris Wiles. He made his debut here last year. And that's uh, a third try for the USA, which takes them 12 points clear. Some breathing space at last then for the USA. Well, they scored well on the strike of half time. And they extended their lead, and it should never come from set phase because it wasn't pretty, but it was the pass there. Nagika gave his captain the chance to get outside of the defence of Tunisia. One, one, Lovely one, dogs one. to finish with. Nagika pushes it wide on the far upright. And they still uh, hold a healthy lead over to go 19 points to 7 now, courtesy of uh, that try from the captain, Chris Wiles. Yeah. USA this year while they uh, got the Shield semi-final, uh, poor display really by them in uh, Dubai, they lost to Zimbabwe, they lost the plate final in uh, George to Kenya, they won the Shield final in Wellington, defeated Kenya by 22 points to 17, that's a, a notable scalp for them. 
And then in their own tournament at San Diego, they got to the bowl final and lost eventually by two points in 42 wins. Well, a good thrust here by Matt Hawkins, showing good strength and talking off strength. There is the man that's got it in bundles, Todd Cleaver. And you say now they're running away with this one. It's a fourth try for them, the first for Todd Cleaver. His first in Hong Kong for 2008, and it's all about possession. They won, they competed at the kickoff, retained it, and then from this, this is brilliant work from Matt Hawkins down the outside, the fend off, and then he looked inside, and he's been working hard, the certified yoga instructor. And that'll straighten us back out. And another success. Well, well taken drive from uh, Todd Clever. Just clips there also Matt Hawkins. He said he looked good with more than that. Good strength. Come and live for you, buddy. One more minute. Big guys in this uh, USA squad. And glimpses of what Al Caravelli was talking about, saying that uh, they were very exciting with ball in hand. And here comes the captain, Chris Wiles, yet again. Centre in 15s. Remember him uh, having a few no, games no, for Northampton. Rate. He didn't look out of place at all in the English Guinness Premiership. Tekla. Jason Pye, Heads up. scorer on the USA's first try. Taylor once again with the distribution. And uh, Wiles took his eyes off the ball there. Spotted the tackler. Good swarming defence. They're coming in. Osuna. And you're right again, when Griffiths, he just had a look at the opposition coming up, they hit three on two. As the Americans call on the heavy artillery of Shretton Palamo. Yeah, he certainly is a threat, isn't he? Okay, so good rugby on May and Biarritz in France. This is Tim Shretton Palamo takes his place in the scrum, he's the youngest player ever to appear in a Rugby World Cup match back in October 2007 when he came off the bench against South Africa. World champions. <whistles> Tunisia, get the penalty. That's where the mark is. Time is against the North African nation. Got a difficult match against uh, New Zealand tomorrow and Chinese Taipei as well in this uh, group. Again, USA penalised. Just over a minute remaining then of this uh, final match of day one in Hong Kong. And whilst it looked uh, looked a pretty close encounter at one stage, well, the USA have hit, they hit the game, uh, run away with it. Four tries to one. Could be a second here with Fortune is yet. Replacement Sefadin Hasuna. Makes the scoreline a little more respectable with less than a minute to go. Well, that'll give them some confidence heading into day two. Conversion is good, so they've closed the gap to 12. And this is what Sevens is about. Getting it out, there's that pop pass there. Superb persona and support, the man who made his debut in Dubai in 2004. And it's a 3.1 from the judge for the dive. So what can America do in the last 30 seconds of this match? They just need to retain the possession, but they wouldn't mind another score, I'm sure. And here they come. Troy Hall. Fast creator of the midfielder. Placement for the USA. Over. And there is the hooter. So one last chance than four Tunisia to get another try to bring them uh, within a converted try of uh, what it looks as if it's going to be the United States' uh, final score. 26 to 14. Tunisia away, Sabur Ben Chirada. He'll have the last word, or will he? No, he won't. That's Gamir who scored the first try of this match. Now that makes the scoreline a little more respectable, but uh, it's just all about points difference, really. And it was that uh, middle part of the game that 
that uh, Tunisia uh, lost control of and they've lost the match as a consequence. Well, they can play Tunisia, as you mentioned, upsetting uh, South Africa in 2005 at the World Cup. The pace, and then this is still an important pass because they want to get it in close to the, to the, uh, to the sticks so they can convert it. Kamir does that, conversion is good. So the final scoreline then is 26-21 to the USA. That's the last game uh, on the first day of competition here at the Sokoto Stadium in uh, Hong Kong.